Welcome once again to Joshua Poor Online Max. In our class, we're talking about fractions equal to zero. Fraction equals to zero. Sometimes you can find questions like this where you'll be required to find the values of f for which the following fraction is equals to zero. Now, when you see questions like that, how can I solve that? It's actually very simple. It's not difficult at all. With these two, let's do these two examples on the board. By the time I'm done with these two questions, you agree with me that mathematics is actually the simplest subject of all. So join me now. Let's solve this. Very simple. So again, the first one you write solution. It's very important for you to always write your solution before you solve. So A now. Now again, you always try to understand the key in anything I tell you are doing, any topic at all. Now what is the key under this topic or what is expected of you? Now, when you say find the value of x for which the following fraction is equal to zero, all we are interested in is that just look at the numerator. Whatever you have in the numerator, equate it to zero, and then the answer will be out from there. Let's see how we do that. Now, in question one now, we have x squared plus 3x plus 2 over 4x minus 20. Our attention is not on this 4x minus 20. No, our attention is on x squared, on x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. That is it. So this is where our attention is now. Now we're going to find the values of x for this very equation to be equal to 0. Now how do we do that? We can easily do this by factorizing this. Remember factorization is one of the simple, in fact, very sweet topic again in mathematics. We have uploaded videos on that factorization. If you don't know how to factorize, please just watch those videos. I can assure you there's not on that factorization that you will not be able to do. So now if I'm going to factorize this, now I'll be asking myself just two questions and what are they? I'll look at this constant here, I'll ask myself, what two number will multiply themselves together so that when I multiply them, I will get what? I'll get plus three and when I add them or subtract them, I will get plus three. What number comes to your mind? Um, you'll be thinking of, okay, two and one, okay? Two times one is two and two plus one is 3. So the answer is what 2 and 1. So that means that since I have 2 and 1, that means that in place of these 3x, I'm going to replace it with what? 2x and 1x. So that will be what? x squared plus 2x plus x plus 2 equals to 0. So x is the same thing as what? 1x. So what will I do? I'm going to group this. I'm going to group this together. So grouping this now, like this now, so I'll look at the, what they have in common here. We have x, I have x, I have x. I'll bring it out. Now what will I multiply by this x to give me x squared is x plus what will I multiply by this x so that my answer will be what 2x is what is 2, okay, plus. Look at this again, x and 2. What they have in common, you agree with it, they have just 1. So 1 times x, so give me x. 1 times 2, give me 2 equals to zero. So if you look at what is in the bracket, they are the same. So this will be what? X plus one. Okay. Open bracket. X plus two equals to zero. Now, all this is the same as saying X plus one is equal to zero or X plus two is equal to zero. So from here, collecting like item X equals to this goal, this returns to what? Minus one or x is equal to what? Minus 2. And that is the answer. So, in this very question we are having here, for all values of x with this following fraction equals to 0, when x equals to minus 1, if you put x equals to minus 1 into this equation, you will get 0. Or you put x equals to minus 2 into this equation, into this fraction, you will also get what? 0. So, that is our answer. Very simple, isn't it? Not difficult at all. So, let's check the second one again now. The b now. This is what 2x minus 16 over x squared minus 11x plus 24. Again, remember what I said. Our attention is on the numerator and not the denominator. So what will I do now? This is what 2x minus 16 equals to 0. That is just it. Equate the numerator to 0 and solve from there. Are we factorizing anything here? Not at all. So let's go. So what will I do here? I can just collect like terms. This is what 2x equals to this minus comes this returns to what plus that is 16. What will I do? Just divide to 2 go with 2. X equals to what? 2 here, 1. 2 is what? 8. X equals to 8. And that is the answer. Very simple. Not difficult at all. So, if I should put 8 into this equation, substitute 8 into this equation, my answer will be equals to what? Equals to 0. So, that is it. So, anytime you see questions like this, either in exam 
or in test anytime any day for what value of x with the following fraction be equals to zero don't bother about the denominator concentrate on the numerator equate it everything equals to what zero and look at it am i going to factorize or is just a simple equation so what's your simple question you don't need to do just get your answer just like what you are seeing here you can see this, this is just a linear equation so just solve it collect your question collect your light terms and then the answer will come out not difficult at all very simple isn't it if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to do what to click the like button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe just click the subscription button and share these videos please share it if you want that video to go, 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 to go far and wide everywhere want people to see this video so that people know that math is actually very very simple i hope you enjoyed it please watch out for our next video on this topic as now we'll be talking about when we cannot pay attention to the denominator do you want to see it watch out for the next video once again thank you very much bye bye for now